Hey guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. Today we are going to do something really interesting and scary. Now my heart rate is already up and I didn't think that it was gonna be like like that nerve wracking. And uh, but what I'm trying to do today is I'm going to give myself insulin. I am going to drop my blood sugars. I had, don't worry about it. I have I have a nurse by me. Something happens, she's gonna intervene if I pass out or anything like that. She's gonna give me the glucagon if I'm unresponsive. Which by the way, every diabetic on insulin should have this glucagon. This is a newer glucagon ready to go called Jiva. I am not diabetic. My goal is not to go down to 10. By the time I'm down to 70 or 60, I will start feeling it. And my goal is to go below 50. And I want to feel what my patients feel when they go low. And now I understand how my patients feel when I tell them that I'm going to put you on insulin. I can feel the fear that they're going through. That's real. And I am going to give that shot to myself. And I'm going to put myself to hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar. I always teach them how it feels and how to fix it. And let's see if I can take it. I'm going to do that. And today, my other goal, in addition to putting myself into low blood sugar situation and feeling it, I also want to test continuous glucose monitoring systems in the market. So Freestyle Libre, Dexcom G6, and Guardian from Medtronic. These are the three leading brands, and I want to see in a real life situation with a real low blood sugar if they're accurate, because that's what I prescribe for my patients, and I want to know which one works best. I am going to do a finger stick, of course, from a quality brand that I know is very reliable, and of course, you can tell by my symptoms. I'm gonna start feeling sweaty, shaky, heart racing, and I'll probably lose my collar. I, I may feel dizzy. So, so I decided to use Fiasp. So Fiasp is the fastest acting uh, insulin analog right now for, for the sh among the short acting insulin. So I decided to use this because guess what? I'm not gonna wait another two or three hours for my blood sugar to drop. I'm, I'm gonna be really generous with this insulin. So let's do the priming first. Okay, two units did work, but I'm gonna do a little more, okay, just to make sure. All right, so go, 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 go. All right, I'm gonna, okay, wow, that's gonna be big. It's gonna be 30 units. Now, don't do this at home, guys, especially if you're diabetic. You know, uh, you know I'm, I'm healthy, that's why my body is trying to fight it, but uh, this 30 units, I think will bring it down. Okay, let's go. Already, okay, so that's gonna. Oh, yeah. Oh, what I like about this Fiasp the push that plunger is so easy compared to Himalog. Um, and let's see if it is as fast as, as they say. The studies say that it starts in, in two minutes to act and it peaks uh, relatively faster, but uh, we'll see, guys. Okay, so my blood sugar right now on the Libre is 94 and on the Dexcom is 110 and on the Guardian it is 118. Again, Freestyle Libre 2 is reading everything considerably lower compared to other CGMs. Um, Good thing or a bad thing, we'll see. But I think in the, you know, if you remember, it gave me a couple of false alarms, false low alarms. We'll see how it, that's gonna go this time. Uh, and I'm hoping that I'm gonna really go low and we'll see which one picks up faster. I'll keep you post, I'll keep you updated in a second. I think Fiasp is working faster. So it's been 40 minutes and I already got a low alert from this guy from Freestyle Libre. And let's see, scan it, scan it, okay. Oh, it says 56. I can't believe it is 56. I don't feel like 56. I'm sorry, freestyle. 
that cannot be true because I don't even feel it. As a healthy individual, if it was 56, I would be like perspiring right now. Now, Guardian showed that you're not low, but it's predicted. So you're going low. And as you can see here, it says 76. And there's one arrow down. It shows me that you're, I'm going down, not super fast, but I'm going down one arrow down, which means that, you know, right around one to two milligram per deciliter in 30 minutes, that's gonna be um, 30 to 50 lower than this, 76. So if it goes like this, that's how you interpret this, you may be down to at least 46 within 30 minutes. Now, uh, that's not good. So if you're a diabetic, you should do something about this, right? So let's let's look at the Dexcom, of course. Let's look at what the Dexcom says here. Uh, Dexcom says it's 95 and it is stable. Not too sure about that. I, I used to uh, really love Dexcom and people love Dexcom, uh, but I'm surprised that Dexcom didn't pick up on that, that my blood sugar is actually going low. Now, I also feel like a little butterfly feeling, like a little bit of an anxiety feeling. And I think that's my contra-regulatory hormones are kicking in right now. And I wanna see what my finger stick shows. I think that's probably, we'll see which one is the closest. Um, that's the whole point of doing these experiments today. All right, so I am excited. Let's see what it shows. Oh, wow, it is 60, guys. Can't believe it. It is 60. Uh, well, here's the deal, guys. I'm gonna give some credit to Freestyle Libra 2 because this says 55 and this says 60, which means that I'm low. Uh, maybe because I'm normally running around 90, 60 may not be a big of difference. Uh, I mean, a lot of people, if they are going from 200 down to 90, they're gonna feel it. You know, your body read, your body doesn't understand numbers. Your body knows the difference. So, uh, but that's good. Fias put me down in 40 minutes. I like that. So it's gonna actually peak around an hour. So I'm hoping to go really, really low. Uh, and I'll see if Dexam picks up on this. Uh, I'm hoping that it will, because if it doesn't, it will be a big disappointment. So we'll see what it, how it goes. I'll keep you posted. Okay, guys, I start feeling funny. So, uh, Dexcom is picked up right after I, uh, it was 110, and uh, after that, it went down to 82, and it's showing uh, the arrow. Uh, as you can see, it's not totally down, but it's showing oblique, um, which shows you, you know, pretty much the same thing as one arrow down with the Medtronic. Um, so what I feel right now is, um, it's kind of funny. It's kind of a funny feeling. Uh, it's kind of a panic feeling, you know, that adrenaline rush that comes to you. That's how you feel. Um, and let's see what that is right now. So it's 53. I think that's a little exaggerated. I don't think I'm 53. Um, I'm going to do another finger stick just to see. Yeah, I feel, uh. Dizzy? Oh, it says 43. Okay, well, am I 43? I don't know. I feel dizzy. I feel like the lights are kind of too shiny or too bright. Uh, it says 43 here on the meter, and it says 52 on the Libre 2. Libre 2. This is the new Libre. Dexcom says it's 82. And according to Guardian, it is 63 and going down. So I think um, I feel low right now, and I'm sure I'm below at least 70. And Dexcom shows that it's 82 right now, and it's going down. Um, it's predicted that according to Dexcom and I would be low down to below 60 in the next 20 minutes according to this and let's see if I have any hand shaking uh, a little bit <laughs> a little bit my heart rate yeah it's up let's have 
let's find out what it is. According to this, my heart rate is 116. 124. Yeah, I feel the shaking. I think it's gonna go lower. We'll, we'll see. Uh, let's see how low I will go before I pass out. That is the deal. Uh, and if I pass out, uh, I have the glucagon here. I chose GVO because I don't have to, you know, reconstitute the whole thing and I can inject to myself. Uh, so that's the beauty of it. Because we are down to 77 on Dexcom and I think Dexcom is probably closest to how I feel. Uh, and I think the Librate 2, let's see what it is. This is 51. And I think a little over exaggerated. Um, it's predicting low, which is good. But I think it is um, predicting a little too low. Let's see what the Guardian shows. According to Guardian, I'm down to 58. And maybe it's true. I don't know. Maybe it's true. Uh, Dexcom shows that I'm 77 still. It checks it every five minutes. Uh, this shows now the Freestyle Libra 2. It says 50 and I'm going down. So we'll see what happens when I'm down to 40. The point that I'm trying to make here, number one is I'm trying to feel how you guys feel. And number two, um, although, as I said, you know, I may not feel exactly how you feel, uh, but at least I want to understand um, how a nasty feeling is. The, the bottom line is it's a horrible feeling. Uh, no matter what you feel, it doesn't feel good. When you choose uh, a meter, and then I told you about the Guardian, right? Guardian shows, uh, I'm gonna give you my final comments on this. Um, it says 59 on, on, the, uh, on the Guardian, Medtronic. And I'm gonna do this one more time. I think it's gonna come around the same, probably. Although remember, blood sugar drops faster than your interstitial fluid uh, all the time. So um, monitoring your blood sugar in a situation like this is your best bet. I'm back up to 71. Once. It's almost midnight to 23.45. And uh, gee, I was like getting into bed and I felt like something weird and like something in my chest feeling like anxiety. My, my, I'm feeling extremely tired and weak. I was like, oh, well, that was a long day. I know that, but then I uh, start feeling hot and I'm like, oh God, let me check my blood sugar. And then it was like below 60. I just had some food. Uh, and it's like trying to come up, but uh, that was Guardian that I just showed you here. <laughs> uh, well, Dexcom shows 71 is, is again dragging their feet trying to trying to come up i want to see what my finger stick is yeah 67 so it's coming up uh, but i i think when i felt it it was below 60. so another lesson so if you had a low check your blood sugar again uh, after you fix it fix it with simple sugars not with chocolate, not with um, candy bars like uh, Snickers and stuff. Um, but I would go with the finger stick as close as, as the truth. 67, Dexcom says 72, pretty close. Uh, uh, the Guardian says 61 is more dramatic. So, I don't know if that's correct or not. But the bottom line, I think I went down to at least 60, maybe 50. Um, and Freestyle Libre was the first one to pick up on that. Uh, but I didn't even feel that I was low. Uh, so if you are concerned and if you want to know and never want to go low, maybe Freestyle Libre is the way to go. Uh, if you want to know that you're going low, um, but you, know, you don't want to be alerted all the time or or, you know, 70, 60 blood sugar is not really that dangerous. You don't want to know that you're, you're, you're getting false alerts. For example, when it's, when it's in reality, 70 
for example, this now says 74 on Dexcom. Um, but, you know, with, um, with the Guardian, for example, it said 60. The Dexcom says you're right around 70. The finger stick showed 71. Dexcom shows 74. Um, maybe Dexcom, maybe your choice if you, for example, really do not want to get too many force alarms and uh, get like if you get an alarm that's just pretty much real. Uh, so I think they made the Freestyle Libre and Guardian a little too sensitive. Um, the problem with the Guardian, you still have to do you still have to do two finger sticks to calibrate. And if you don't calibrate, it just quits on you. And that's the problem. And you still have to do finger sticks with Guardian. Now, of course, uh, another big competitor to Dexcom is Freestyle Libre 2, which is new. Uh, doesn't have an app yet, that's a problem. Uh, but they have this and I've measured on this. Uh, according to this, I mean, it's uh, it picks up uh, low sugar. I think it gives too many false alerts. But I think so overall still a good product if if your budget allows this and if your insurance covers this, whatever, uh, it is still a good product. If you want to pump, definitely go for Dexcom. Um, but if you are just wanting to monitor your blood sugars and you know you just want to know that you're not going to danger zone, uh, you want to keep your blood sugars about 100, um, then that's maybe then Freestyle Liberty may be your choice. Um, but again, I think overall, um, Dexcom has the best features right now. Um, and I think it is still a, a very accurate, uh, very little false alarms. If you get a low blood sugar alert, that's going to be a real low. Uh, so I hope that video helps guys. And, uh, again, uh, make sure that you leave comments. Uh, we want to hear from you as well. Uh, and we will, uh, talk to you and see you in the next video.